Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a big haul today, so I'm gonna try to go fast and not talk too much because there's a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> so I have a haul from uh, AliExpress, multiple different stores, um, scrapbook.com, Frank Garcia Studio. I think that's it. So let's just dive right in. So um, for most of you know that I designed for um, In Love Arts um, and I saw some new dyes that I didn't get to see when, um, or that I didn't see or knew after I picked my design team project. <laughs> so I went back and I decided to pick this up. This is a cute little sunflower dye, um, which let me take this out so you can see kind of what that looks like. So I can't wait to put this together. This is a good size and it measures about four inches long. So can't wait to try this one out. And I love that it has this little center cutout uh, piece. So, and probably it cuts this out and so you could change the color, but I can't wait to play around with that. I got this cute um, little rainbow die, which I love that each layer cuts out individually. And then you can like kind of stack them up and make some rainbows. It also comes with some clouds. Um, this one is also a sunflower um, dye. It looks a little bit different. Um, it has like little skinny leaves, but you can of course cut them multiple times and layer it. And it also comes with a center and some leaves. So I can't wait to play with that one. And this one also creates a flower as well. Um, but I believe it's kind of like a rolled flower. Um, so I'll put that together and I'll show all of these things to you guys as I put them together. Um, the next bit of goodness comes from uh, Andy's store on um, AliExpress. So I just love these ants. If you guys remember, um, and I'm sure you've seen them before, uh, Carrie sent me this cute little, let me raise up my candle. A little bit more she sent me this cute little uh ant um as a part of my challenge and you can buy them online so this little cute one um and it's a good size let's see the size of the ant is about four inches and then those are the eyeballs look how cute that is let me let me roll this put this back down i'm sorry so this ant is four inches long and look at the eyeballs are you guys just dying and then it has a cute i think it makes a little apple or something um it also um, i also got this one this one's a little bit smaller um and it has a strawberry that it puts on the uh the back but how cute is that but the strawberry is individual so you can move it uh you don't have to put it on the back that's just how they did it on the um the picture but you can put it whatever wherever you want but again those big eyeballs are just killing me how cute is that um this next one uh, makes a gnome with a like a coffee cup but you can make it a girl or a boy because it has the little braids on there. So love that. And I can't wait to play around with those. Um, these are also from the Andy store. I picked up this TV die. Um, I, I don't know why I didn't buy it from so long ago, but I've seen so many people use it. So I decided to pick it up. And it does have this uh, cute little uh, word die in there that says chat. And it's one of those layerable uh, kind of dies. So pick that up from Andy's store. And then I saw Erica making this cute bag topper uh, who is Scrap Diva 29. And it's like uh, with the spider webs. So fun. So I just started working on some Halloween stuff. So that'll come in handy. This one right here is a Rolodex die that makes like a VW bug. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put this together. I think it's gonna be adorable. It's a bigger one, but yeah, that'll be fun to put together. And if you guys see any dies um, that you're interested in watching me put together, I'll be happy to do so. If I get a couple requests, I'll, I'll do a couple of them probably maybe in the same video. Um, this one is a bag topper as well. It makes a little a VW bug as well. So you can see how it folds in half and probably you can make it into a shaker. I'm thinking based on how this is looking, but uh, I don't know, but 
I'll give it a try and see how it turns out. But really cute. Um, this one right here makes like a pie-shaped box. I believe this is the one. I believe so. That makes a cute little pie-shaped box. So I'll put that one together as well. Feels like it's missing something, but I could be wrong. I think there's an upper box and then a, the bottom box, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Um, this one right here is a slice of pie. This is obviously the frosting that goes up there. But uh, again, watching Erica Scrap Diva 29, she made it into this adorable shaker. And I finally bought some of that Wandy foam that she's always talking about. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, I have some projects that I'll be showing you later that I used it. I love that uh, foam. It's really great. So I'll probably use that to make this into a shaker. And it has like a strawberry... And it says eat cake. So I'll be playing around with that soon. Then I also found this one. This one is a crown. And it's also a Rolodex. I have a die similar to this. But it's not a Rolodex. So I thought I'd give that a try. And see how it turns out. But it looks really super cute. Uh, let's see. What else did I get here? I Oh, oh shoot. I think the bag split. Um, this one's also a Rolodex that makes a birthday hat, which I saw this on Erica's video. <laughs> you know, she's an enabler. I hope she's watching. You enable, girl. <laughs> so anyways, that's what that is. And then this is the super cute flower um, that Anna was showing when she picked it up from um, Frank Garcia Studio. So I'll be playing around with this as well. I thought it was larger or maybe this version is just a little bit smaller, but super cute and can't wait to give this a try. It looks adorable and it looked really pretty how Anna layered it. Um, so can't wait to play around with that. Um, this did not come from Andy's store. This came from a different store, but I'll link these in my description box below. And then, oh my gosh. This slipper die is so cute. And I don't want to say her channel name wrong. I think it's Cutesy Myself or Cutesy, cutesy Shelf. Um, but she made these cute slippers and showed them on Instagram. And I nearly died. And then I watched her video. So it comes in a smaller version and a larger version. And it does come with a bow. Definitely, I cannot wait to put this together. I have some ideas for this for... I don't know, but it's really super cute. And she even turned it into a shaker at the bottom. So adorable. So I'll link all these dies uh, in my description box um, below. Um, if you are interested in picking up any of them, I have no idea why I buy so many dies. I have, <laughs> I'm not even going to go down that trail. <laughs> I love dies. You guys, you guys know that. Um, then I was enabled by Miss Bona. I saw her. Um, post this on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that right away. So I picked this this one up from uh, scrapbook.com. I think it might be on uh, Amazon as well because I think that I saw someone say that they got it from Amazon and I can't think of who said that. But um, yeah, so I can't, and I, this one's a steel roll die, so I bet it cuts really well, and I can't wait to play with this. So that's all for the dies. Well, kind of. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the hauls that I picked up from Frank Garcia Studio, thanks to the enabler, Anna. <laughs> so I picked up... Let me do this in sections. I wanted to pick up this collection, this Aloha collection, which is so stinking beautiful. This Mintopia, oh my gosh. Soon as she saw this, I, or showed this, uh, I think she was like walking around his studio and I happened to catch it and I was like, oh my gosh. And I stopped watching what she was doing and like put everything in my car. <laughs> so... I'll do a quick flip through. I know some people have already been sharing it, but to die for beautiful paper. I should have got two. That is my favorite piece. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. I don't even like stuff like this, but I think that's cute too <laughs> with the water. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. 
love it oh look at the macrame how pretty oh love love, love. i forgot what kind of flower that is you guys say it in the comments you guys know what it is did i skip one Oh yeah, and then the beautiful parrots, and then water. I love everything, even this. I don't usually like pictures of real stuff, but it goes with the collection and it's gorgeous. Love every, oh no, I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> Just kidding. I love that. Seashells, bamboo. OMG, look at those campers. Are you guys just dying or what? I hope everybody went out and bought this because it's so beautiful. I think I skipped one. I love the tie-dye, the pineapples. There's no bad sheet in this collection. <laughs> Palm trees. Oh, look at that one. So pretty. Dead. Okay, so I think it's starting to repeat itself. I love this. You know what? I need another one of these. This is so cute. But I did also pick up this one as well. Um, what is this? Like the 6 by 8 So that'll help. Oh, I did something I never do. I never usually buy collection dies, but I had to have this, this little, um, the tape. And then I got the one that says Aloha. So pretty. Oh, that's what it looks like. Let me flip it over. So stinking pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that. This is one of my favorite things in the collection is this book of vellums. Stop it. This is so pretty. Ugh. I want to use them all. This makes me want to craft. I actually have to work a couple hours today, but I want to craft instead. I love these vellum sheets. Oh, this is such a good idea to do this with the with the book instead of the individual sheets. Oh, I love, 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 love. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite collections that I've purchased this year. It's in the top five. I'm going to say that. So cute. So it's just, oh, I wish there was like multiples of this one. Oh, love this. So gorgeous. I also picked up um, these words that are, I think that's rose gold. How pretty is that? I think it's, oh no, there's some on the back. I think these are, are these like rub-on stickers? I think so. And I never buy these, but I don't care. I wanted the whole thing. <laughs> and look at the beautiful sequin mix. Oh, I love this. And it has those little flowers in there. Oh man, and cupped sequins and stars and like smaller size beads. Love, love, love this. Gorgeous. All right. And then I had to have these gorgeous puffy stickers, of course. I love every single one of these. And they're 79 pieces, so not bad. Really, really pretty. All right, and then the next thing, or the last thing that I got, there was a few more things, so I didn't buy everything because there was more dyes and stuff, but as you know, I don't need any dyes, and I just showed you all those <laughs> those dyes I just hauled, so I only got those two. All right, so last but not least, I picked up, a, I always get like two, at least two chipboards, um, sticker sheets, so I did pick up two of these, and I just love them to death. This is a beautiful collection. Fan favorite. Woo -woo. Oh, I love the camper. I wish there was like more than one on this sheet. That's all right. That's why I bought two of them. So that's it for that collection. Gotta move on. Jeez Louise. All right. Last but not least, again, Anna. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. This Halloween autumn paper, Prima. Oh my goodness. So I did buy the A4 and I did also buy um, the 12 by 12, which I didn't open it. Hold on. 
I'll just do a quick flip through it. It says it's called Hello uh, Pink Autumn. And it is so gorgeous. Sorry, guys. I thought I did this already. Let me put that fold it up so it doesn't stick to any of these beautiful pages. Cannot wait to play around with this. Okay, so let's do a quick flip through of this one. Love 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 lovety love love <laughs> all right oh this paper is beautiful i love the leaves that's going to be so pretty for layering right oh these cut apart gorgeous and i love that it looks like it's on one of those heidi swap uh light boxes that's <laughs> so cute so pretty. Oh, are you guys dying or what? I am. I love this gorgeousness. Oh, and these are so pretty. And there is some foiling on it, if you can kind of see that. Oh. Love, love, love. And then there's a couple sheets of each one. Oh, I love that on the back there. This is one of my favorite sheets. This is so pretty. Oh, love it. And then I think that might be, oh no, and oh yeah, I forgot about this sheet. Love. So really, really beautiful paper. Um, the other things that I picked up, of course I gotta have my chipboard. So I picked up a couple of these and it is on both sides. How pretty. Oh, love. I love chipboards too, because I like dimensional stuff. So I like to layer chipboard. Um, and then I also got the ephemera, which also has some foiled pieces. There's a picture of what's in there. So really pretty. It says crunchy leaves. I love that sound when you're outside and the leaves are falling to the ground. Fun, fun. And then I picked up these really pretty um, sets of flowers. So this one has 18 pieces and I love these ones that have like the pumpkin print and all the pictures on them of the little pumpkins and leaves. And then I got this larger set that has seven pieces in it. Oh, love this. So that is my haul. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will be back later um, with some projects. And like I said, if there's any dyes that you guys saw me use that you want to watch me put together or we can do a craft with me or something, I'll be happy to do so. Because half the time I'm looking at those dyes like, how do you put this together? <laughs> so I know the feeling. So I will talk to you guys soon. Um, check my description box below uh, for a link to the dies that I picked up and showed in the video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.